Hello there. Could you just confirm your name for me? That's perfect. And your date of birth, please. Okay. You make yourself comfortable there. I'm Dr. Sarah, pleased to meet you. Now I can see that you're here today for me to check out your ears and your nose. Yeah? Okay. So let me just pop some gloves on and we'll have a little chat about what's been going on. How long have you been having problems? Right, okay. Okay. Let me just check here. Have you been having any nosebleeds? No, okay. So it's a soreness up your nose, yeah? Okay. And ear pain, okay, ears feel itchy, alright, okay, nasal stuffiness, yeah, okay, and nasal discharge, okay, so you have some clear discharge but sometimes discoloured, okay, yeah. Sneezing, okay. Have you got any known allergies? Right, okay, generally hay fever, okay. And dust mites, that's a common one. Okay. Have you treated your nose and ears with any other medications recently? Not for a while, that's good, because I'd rather see them in their worst state than when they've been treated by something. Yeah, some people sometimes come when they've put decongestant up the nose, or they've got special drops in their ears, and it's not very helpful if it's calming down the thing that I, I'm trying to investigate. Although I will need to use a decongestant on you today. Have you had any allergies to decongestants like pseudoephedrine? No, okay. It's not pseudoephedrine that I'm going to use today, it's a, a different type. But um, sometimes we can ask patients to take a pseudoephedrine, but I won't be doing that today unless I really have to. Okay. Some people can get very bad palpitations, dizziness, agitation with pseudoephedrine. It doesn't suit a lot of people. Okay. So I'd like to take your temperature if that's okay. Alright. I'm just going to pop the thermometer into here. Okay. There we go. I'll use your left ear. I'm just going to pop that in. Okay, you'll hear a few little peeps. Just relax there. Right. Okay. Well, the temperature is absolutely fine, so that's good. You've had no recent colds or anything like that though. Temperature is 36.9, so that's wonderful. Okay, let me just have a little feel of your lymph nodes, if I may. Okay, just down the neck. Just feeling for anything unusual. Little lumps, spongy lumps, hard lumps. Any pain or tenderness when I do that. Just behind your head, I'll come in a little bit closer. Okay. And just, just 
Let me close your collar back. Just check just under your jaw. Okay. Do you have any pain when I press just around your face? Okay. Could you just open and close your mouth for me? Okay. to shine a light and have a little look. Okay, perfect. Okay, could you just say ah oh, for me? Alright, that's fine. Okay. Right. Let's take a look down those ears, shall we? I'm just going to be using this otoscope. Right. I'll gently insert it into your ear. Okay, have a little look around. Alright, just stay nice and still for me. I just want to see if there's anything visual in your ears that I can see would be causing a problem. Okay, I'm just going to pull up and back very gently on your ear. And insert that there, wonderful. Is that okay for you, my lovely? Right, now your ear canal looks a little bit red and agitated, which is something that we would see in allergies. Okay, the eardrum looks fine. I can see the light reflex there is normal and the structures behind the tympanic membrane are visible. Normal amount of uh, earwax, so that's fine. It just looks a little bit red, which is what's causing that itching, I think. Okay. Alright. Let me just reposition slightly there. Okay. Alright. Just looking a little bit further up there. Okay. You all right there? Good. Okay. I'll check this ear now. Okay, just going to pull up and back again on the ear. And insert the otoscope gently into your ear canal. There we go. Is that okay for you? Good. Again, we're looking a little I'm looking normal, which is wonderful. Nothing unusual to visualise there. Just that redness again in the ear canal. Just reposition that a little bit. Again, there's redness in both of your ears. Okay. I'm just going to have a little feel around the external ear now, if I may. Okay. So, just going to gently visualise the pin of the ear down to the lobe. Gently pressing. Just press, press. Does anything feel sore there, my lovely? No? Okay. Little taps. I'm just checking behind. 
Nähe. I still feel so comfortable there. I can't feel or see any lumps, bumps, scars. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. That all seems fine. I'm absolutely sure there was no pain there. Okay, that's great. Just the itchiness inside. Okay. Let's check this one for you then. Okay, so just gently pressing around. Press, 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 press. On the pinner. And down to the lip. Gentle tapping there. Does that feel alright for you? the movements around the ear. Just looking behind. Okay. That all looks fine. No lumps, bumps or swelling. a little tug. I just want you to tell me if that feels uncomfortable. Okay. So, I'm just going to tug down on this one. Okay. All right. Perfect. On this side. I wouldn't expect it to be painful because there didn't seem to be anything in the way of real infection in your ears, but it's always good to check. Yeah, okay. So now I'd just like to take a little look at your nose. I will look at your nose with an endoscope shortly. Okay, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. So I'm just going to just push the tip of your nose up very gently, okay? Keep nice and still for me, my lovely thing. In with that otoscope there. Okay. I can see some redness. Right. Okay. And up this side. Okay. Okay, it looks like there's a bit of redness. Okay. Check your sense of smell, very briefly, if that's okay. Good. Right. Let's just open this. Could you tell me what that smell is? Good sniff. Lavender, well done. That's perfect. And... That's wonderful. Okay. So, I'll just let you sit there for a couple of moments and then I'll come back with the rest of my equipment and explain what I'm going to do next. If that's all right with you, I'll just write up a couple of notes. Okay. Okay. Doing all right there? All right. 
So what I'd like to do is do a nasal endoscopy and that will involve me inserting this flexible tube into each nostril. There was a little camera in the end and that will just show me on the screen over here what's going on up inside your nasal passages, okay? No, it's not going to hurt. I'm going to give you a decongestant and some local anaesthesia up your nose. It's very short acting, okay? And you'll feel fine. If anything is uncomfortable, obviously tell me, yeah? But this will enable me to get an absolutely perfect look to see what's going on because the otoscope you can only really see so much with this I'll be able to go further up yeah and I'll even be able to see just down the back of your throat as well yeah Are you okay with that it's a procedure that's done in an outpatient clinic all the time yeah as you can see it's just nice and flexible and it's not going to hurt you at all okay that's great What I'm going to do first is have a little spray with this. This is a decongestant, okay? It doesn't burn or sting. Alright, so just keep your head nice and still for me and I'll just have a little spray. There we go. Hand up this side. a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's just get that little wipe up there. Okay. Take some nice deep breaths for me now. Okay, nice deep breaths. Alright. That's perfect. Can you just include one nostril, breathe in deeply. Alright, and the other nostril, breathe in deeply. Okay, wonderful. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is apply some local anaesthetic into each nostril. I'll be doing this by putting the solution onto these cotton buds, okay? And it will feel very strange as they go numb and they will go numb within seconds, alright? But I'm not going to use the spray because the spray can run down the back of the throat and can numb the throat, which isn't so pleasant and we don't need to be numbing the throat today. up and come underneath and just insert this and rub it round, okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Tickles for a moment but it'll soon be numb. Okay, wonderful. Let's do the other nostril now. on properly. Okay, to this side. There we go. That's right up there. There we go. Should be feeling all numb soon. Just get the 
there's a little massage right here, just around the nostrils there. Right, I'll just make sure the computer is all set up there. Right. Okay, and the images will be on this screen over here. Okay. To spray a little bit of lubricating solution on the end. Okay. Good to go. So are you ready? Okay, if you feel anything uncomfortable you must tell me. Alright? So I'm going to start with your right nostril. Keep your head very, very still. Just tilt back very slightly. There we go. Okay, just coming in with the endoscope now. Okay? There we go. Well done. Okay, so I can see that the nasal linings are inflamed. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I can see that they are rather red. The turbinates look a little bit swollen. Slightly deviated septum, which just means your nose is slightly bent more one way which can cause problems with breathing, particularly if you've got a cold or something, one side will block more. Okay, so I'm just going to withdraw a little bit, alright, you okay there, my lovely? Perfect. And just going in, just a little bit deeper now, okay. Just going to pop that endoscope a little bit further up your nose. There we go, that's wonderful, let's have a look up. Just going a little bit further up. Okay. Right. Okay, does that feel alright for you? Okay. Yeah, you've got really inflamed sinuses. The nasal lining is, is really angry. can see you've got what we call post-nasal drip, which is where mucus drips down the back into the throat. You may find you get tickly sore throats, or you have to cough a lot, clear your throat. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to gently withdraw that now. All right, keep nice and still for me. There we go. How is that? A little bit more on here. Make sure it goes up the nostril. Nice and easy. Okay. So let's take a look at that left nostril now. Okay. You ready? Perfect. Just inserting that now. Okay. Let's just take a look. Again, very irritated, swollen, red nasal lining there. Mm. You can see there's quite a lot of mucus production. Okay, you're doing really well, my lovely. I know it's a strange thing to have done. Okay, just going to withdraw slightly and then go. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, yeah. turbinates look a little bit angry. Well, 
must even noted the septum before being deviated. Okay, just up a little bit more now. Alright, okay. Is that comfortable? Good. And again, seeing the post nasal drip in the back of the throat there. Okay. Well, I think I've seen all I need to see there for now. So let me just gently withdraw this now. Okay, there we go. That's the endoscope all out. There was a little bit of a massage there. Okay, are you feeling okay? No dizziness? Okay. Nothing's bleeding, don't worry, it hasn't made anything bleed. Okay, it just will feel very strange. But the local anaesthesia will wear off in about 15 minutes. Okay. Alright. So let me just write a couple of notes down there. And you just relax. That's perfect. Okay. So. Let's just see how your sense of smell is now again. Just make sure everything's still fine. Okay. Lavender, perfect. Okay. That's wonderful. Okay, there. Everything is looking fine. Okay, so based on my findings today, I think what you're suffering from is an allergic reaction. Okay. It could be a long-term allergic reaction, okay, or something very acute. Now, if it's chronic, you would be getting these symptoms all the time, okay. Um, acute allergies can turn into chronic allergies, okay. Our bodies change all the time, and we can become allergic to things that we weren't allergic to before, all right. Now, I know you've got your hay fever allergy there and you've also got your dust mite allergy which I said were very very common okay but if you can't think of any new allergens that you've been in contact with specifically I would like to send you forward for some allergy testing okay it may be something you're in contact with all the time and you don't think about it all right because I want to just make sure that we get to the bottom of it all right I'll just Make some notes there. I know the allergy testing team are quite busy at the moment, but I should be able to get you seen within a couple of weeks. Okay. So I'm just going to do that there. All right. Now, I'm going to prescribe you an antihistamine as well. Okay. Now, you can take that in the meantime. Once you get your appointment, I want you to stop taking your antihistamine four days before. Okay. This will give your body a chance to pick up on the allergen again and react to it. Okay. I just want to give you a little short-term relief until we get you seen by the, the allergy testing team. All right. You can also use a decongestant if you like, but again, please withdraw usage of that. All right. Would you like me to prescribe one of those as well? No. Okay, you're happy with that. All right. So, I'll get the prescription typed up in a second and sent right over to reception and they will sort you out with that and you can collect that from our on-site pharmacy here at the clinic yeah but in the meantime take good care of yourself yeah. and uh, I'll see you again very very soon once the allergy team have seen you they will refer you back to me to have a further discussion about things okay 
enjoy the rest of your day and pick up your script on the way out. Alright, take care. Bye bye. You just get yourself comfy there, okay? I'm just checking through your notes, my lovely. Alright. How are you feeling today? Okay. Being nervous is quite normal. I totally understand that. But I'm going to take great care of you today. So let me just see. So I'm going to be giving you a bronchoscopy today. Now we need to just take a little look and see if we can find out what's going on with that little cough that you're getting and that discomfort in your upper chest, yeah? Okay. So you've had quite a few chest infections. All right. Okay. And this has been going on for about three months. Okay. That's fine. I can check your medications here. So you've had several lots of antibiotics. Okay. You do have a history of allergies as well. Okay. That can sometimes cause lots of irritation. Um, a little bit of asthma in the past. All oh, right, yeah. Okay. So how's your chest feeling today? Okay. You've had a little bit of a cough, but it's not too bad. All right. All right then. So... You've not eaten or drank for the past six hours. That's good, okay. All right. And you've not got a cold or anything at the moment. That's perfect. All right then. Okay. And just check your medications. Right, so there's nothing on your medications list that we would have asked you to stop prior to this. There's nothing of any concern there. Right. Okay, and you've not had this procedure performed before? Okay, no. Okay. Right. I'm just going to pop some more gloves on there, my lovely, and we'll, we'll start to have a little check up there. I just have to make sure that your vitals are okay. okay. I'm just going to be popping this onto your finger, alright, just to check your oxygen sats. Okay, there we go. So they're pretty good actually. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. That's okay. I'll jot that down. Okay. So they're at 97, so not really of anything um, to worry about there. Okay. Just need to take a little listen of your chest, if I may. Okay. To make sure that everything's okay there. Okay. Just warm this up a little bit before I go and pop it onto your chest. Okay, so let's just get to that chest there. I'm just going to pop this on. I want you to take some nice breaths for me. Just go in. And out, there we go. Okay, and in, and out. And in, and out. Okay. And in, and out. Okay. And again for me. Okay. Could you just give me a little cough? Mm-hmm. And again, and one more. That's perfect, thank you. 
Okay. I need to take your blood pressure just to check that's all right because I'm going to be administering a little bit of a sedative shortly. Just want to check all the vitals are good before I give you that medicine, okay? Just have to make sure everything's fine. Right, let's get that set up. Okay, so could I just have your left arm, please? Let's just keep you covered there. Okay. There we go, thank you very much. I'm going to put that onto your left arm. And this will go tight, I'm sure you've had the blood pressure taken before, yeah? Okay, wonderful. Let's pop my stethoscope the crease of your arm there. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm just going to give this an inflate. Right. Okay, nice and tight now. Seems fine there. I'll just check it on the other arm. I always like to do both sides. Okay. Right, let's pop that on there. Let's pop my stethoscope on. You all right there? Good, good, good. Okay, and just Feels better now, doesn't it? That's perfect. Okay. Leave that there. Right, I'd just like to take a little look into your throat if I may. Okay. going to use the tongue depressor. Alright then, so open nice and wide for me my lovely, thank you. I'm going to pop that in there and just have a look with my left. Say R oh, for me please. now. Okay. So that's all checked out fine. I'm just going to check your lymph nodes down your neck. Okay. All right. Now, I know that we're not able to go up the nose with you for this because I know you've got a problem with your nasal passages and I'm not going to cause you any more discomfort than need to be. So I am going to go through the mouth, through the voice box there, okay, and then down into the trachea and have a little look around, okay. Right, so what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to have to put a cannula into the back of your arm, okay, to give you some medicine. And this is just going to make you feel really relaxed, all right? I'm going to spray the back of your throat with a special anaesthetic, okay? It'll feel a bit strange at first, all right? And then I will talk you through what I'm going to do with the bronchoscopy afterwards, okay? You're doing really well, so if you'd like to just take some nice deep breaths in and out and in and I'll just keep doing that okay I'm just going to change my gloves now Your notes say you're not allergic to latex. I have to make sure you're not allergic. Okay, that's fine. So, just going to give the back of your hand a little spray. Let's just have a look at the veins. I think that one looks good there. Are you left or right handed? Right handed? Okay, we're going with the Okay, so I'm just going to give it a little spray. Okay. And this will just clean and numb the skin a little. needle that sits in the back of your hand allows me to administer some medicine, okay? Okay, looks like this. Alright then, I'm just going to feel the sharp scratch as I pop this in, my lovely, okay? Nice deep breath for me. You're doing wonderfully well. There we go. That's perfect. Take that torn okay off now because that vein was lovely. Okay, I'm just going to pop a special dressing to hold it in place. Okay. How does that feel? Is it okay? It's gone in really easily. Right? I like those kind. Let's get that dressing there. going to pop that over there as a special dressing it will just stick and hold that in place there we go well done so I'm just going to grab some medicine and I'll pop that into the cannula and that will start to make you feel all relaxed okay all right okay then so I'm just going to this ready. I'm just going to pop this into the cannula, my lovely, okay? Might feel a little bit of a sting as it goes in. It's not going to put you to sleep, it'll just make you feel very relaxed, okay? But you'll still be able to listen to me and respond, okay? All right, lovely, there we go. Let's just pop that in. That's lovely, well done. I need to give your throat a spray, okay? Now this does feel a little bit strange as it hits the back of your throat. It might make you cough for a second. All right, but don't you worry. 
it soon numbs up, okay? And it's not unpleasant to taste. Alright? Okay, so just open nice and wide for me. Okay, nice and wide. There we go. You okay there? You're doing really well. Breathe through your nose for me. I do have to put quite a bit of this in. It feels strange, doesn't it? I know. I know it feels strange. Right, just got to give that a second. So how are you feeling? Good. Okay, let me just check those oxygen sats again. Okay. They're good. Okay. Right, so the endoscopy is just a tube which I insert down and we'll have a little look around. Once I'm in position I will administer a little bit more of a, an anaesthetic. It's in a little bit of a gel form that just goes down and makes it more comfortable for you. Okay, if I see anything that looks a little bit unusual I might just take a biopsy but it's all done through the camera, okay, with little tools. Okay, but the images are going to be on this computer over here for me to see. Alright, so what I need you to do throughout is just breathe, okay, breathe steadily. I know it's, I know it's quite a daunting thing to have done, but are you feeling nice and relaxed now? Yeah? If you need to close your eyes, you can do. But remember, I haven't put you to sleep, I'm just giving you a little bit of sedation. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me just get some lubricant on the end. All right. That just helps us a little bit. Okay. So, this is the endoscope and I'm just going to pass it down and take a little look around, okay? So let's just, just check that it's all set up properly there. Okay, we're good to go. That's fine. Alright, so are you ready? Open nice and wide for me. It should be nice and numb now. Good. Okay, so I'm going to feed this through very, very gently. Alright. Okay, there we go. That's wonderful. Okay. Just breathe. Is that comfortable? Good, good, good. Just going through. Okay, and just going down into your trachea. A little bit of local anaesthetic going through there now. Okay, have a little cough that clears it. Okay, that's perfect. So everything looks okay around the voice box area. I'm just a little bit lower. Alright, a little bit further in. There we go, well done. Okay, so I'm now in the trachea, just having a look around. Okay. Right, I'm seeing a little bit of irritation down there, it looks quite red and sore. Okay. Just a little bit further down now. Breathing nice and steadily there. Okay. Right. I'm 
just going to grab a little sample. Okay. Okay. That's fab. Okay. You're doing really, really well. I know it's not the most comfortable thing. back now we draw it okay no. Some nice deep breaths for me. Okay. Just keep breathing nice and steadily while I just sort this. Okay. Just get that sample. Put in there. very shortly. Okay, let's just check that cannula. That's lovely. Okay. Now you're still numb for the moment, but your throat is going to feel sore, okay? Probably for the next 12 to 24 hours. Okay. Don't have any hot drinks for a while until you can properly feel your throat again, okay? So, cool sips. It might be a little awkward to swallow for a little while, okay? Now, I couldn't see anything of major concern. I just want to tell you that. I've just got a little sample of the tissue that looks irritated. I think it is just infection, okay? And we will test the sample to see which antibiotic will be needed, okay? If it picks anything else up in the sample, like any fungal infections, they can happen in the windpipe and lungs, okay? Yeah, right. So you keep breathing nice and steadily there. You're doing wonderfully well. Okay, so how are you feeling? You all right? So, we're going to get you into the recovery with the nurse. She'll take care of you. She'll also remove your cannula when she's satisfied that you're okay. You're not going to need any more medication. I don't think you will. I think you're going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. But I think the, the irritation infection is very high up. Okay. I don't think there's anything further down. The x-rays haven't showed anything unusual. We just really wanted to take a look at the at the windpipe there for you. Yeah. Okay, just relax there a second. I'm just gonna check that's alright, that's nice and tight and in place, so that's good. So I'll just jot a couple of notes down and we'll get the nurse back in. We'll have the results in a few days, so we will give you a call, okay? Just double checking that there is somebody with you today to take you home. All right, try not to drive or anything for like that for a couple of days, okay? Because the sedation will wear off quite soon, and it's a couple of hours, but it can affect you for a little while, okay? Your reactions may not be what they usually are, okay? But we're going to take care of you for a little while. We'll give you a drink. Nurse will care for you over there in the recovery area. 
and uh, so she will remove that cannula and we also have a little leaflet for you to read to take home okay later on but you'll be staying here for a little while yeah okay you're going to be here for probably another hour or two just so we can monitor you yeah okay so are you not feeling dizzy or anything no that's perfect all right well, I'll just remove that from you. There we go. And we'll get the nurse in. And you've been a wonderful patient. You've been very brave. It's not the nicest of procedures to have done. But all the anaesthesia will wear off in the next hour or so. Okay then. Oh, lovely. Let's get the nurse to go and take care of you. And I'll speak to you in a few days when we have those results. Okay. Take care.